was there an exodus from Egypt? No, there wasn't an exodus. So once you start doing that, then you have to start doubting the credibility of all the other claims that the Bible makes. And that's why people get annoyed, because for some reason, people like to think that the Bible's true. Like the Exodus narrative, which has always been, where's the proof? There's actually a tremendous amount of information out there. And most interestingly enough, as, a, as a, dealing with someone I met a number of years ago, whose name is Brad Sparks, so he's done more research on this topic of the Exodus than, than I think anyone else in human history. And he's found incredible stuff, direct evidence on the walls of the Valley of the Kings in Egypt, showing graphic depictions, these are by the Egyptians, on these tombs of the splitting of the sea and the Jews crossing and the water coming over. And when I first saw it, I didn't believe it. It was like, just too good to be true. And when I looked into it, it is true. It's right there. It's always been there and no one's ever seen it. So here's people saying, there's no proof. It's such an amazing story. How can we don't find anything about it? And boom, there's always been something about it. We just never saw it. Most people are just ignoring it. Scholars have recognized that the design of the chariot wheel can be used to identify specific periods in Egyptian history. In the waters of Aqaba, it appears that remnants of four and six spoke wheels have been discovered. These designs were used simultaneously only during Egypt's 18th dynasty and no later than about 1400 BC, a time frame that coincides closely to the biblical date of the Exodus.